Hello everybody. In the previous video, we talked about writing machine learning models in BigQuery using SQL. And these were the types of models that we discussed in this series of the videos we will write. So as part of this, the first model that we are gonna write is gonna be on linear regression. Let's talk about how to write a linear regression model in BigQuery using SQL. So in the previous video, this was the syntax that you would need to follow to write a machine learning model, regression model in BigQuery. Create or replace model, the name of the model is the syntax. You need to replace this. And then options, model underscore type. As we are writing a linear regression, you would write linear reg. Target variable, for now we are gonna predict price and then we are going to write the select statement for training the model if you would like to understand what is linear regression i will have a link in the video description section below for you to understand in detail what is a linear regression model so let's get started in order to run hands-on now you would need to download a file known as regression area price from the Google Drive link given in the video description section below. This is a very small file which has area and price. Area, based on the area, the price fluctuates. So we are gonna write a linear regression model which we will provide area as the input variable and price as the target variable. I'm assuming that you're already familiar with machine learning models. Again, if not, there is a video description link below that gives you an understanding of what is machine learning model, how do you write it, and what is a linear regression. So assuming that price is my target variable. Now what I'm also doing is, if the area is more than 1500 or less than 1500, I'm using these records for training my model. Very simple model. And then the remaining five or seven things we are going to use for testing purposes. So I'm gonna write a query, select star from this table with these two columns. And then this is the target variable and this is my feature variable. Let's quickly do it. So once you have downloaded this CSV file from the video description section, Google link below, you would upload that as area underscore area price underscore table on BigQuery. In my previous video of videos of BigQuery, I have talked about how to upgrade a table in BigQuery using a simple Big, BigQuery interface. I have a data set, BigQuery ML, and then I create a table in the data set. The name of the table has to be area price underscore TBL. If not, then you have to make few modifications. So if you wanna follow this, these steps, you please put this table name. And then from the source, do an upload and browse the location of the downloaded regression area price. So I'm gonna put regression area price here. The format is CSV. Click on schema input parameters and in the advanced options, ensure that headers rows to skip is one. That means it's gonna pick column names from the first row of this spread uh, CSV. So the first row would be the name of the column. And then click on create table. Once you click on create table, a table area price TBL will be created. Double click this table name and make sure that you're able to see all the data set and the name of the columns. This is the precursor to start creating a linear regression model. Once you have this table built in, you would write or copy this. And by the way, the syntax is also mentioned in the video description section below the Google Drive link. So create a regression model and then 
I'm going to create a model with the target variable price and select this and click on run. I already have this model created. That's why I'm not gonna click on run. And it takes a few minutes or seconds to create a model depending on the type of the data you have. Please note that I have also put area less than or equal to 1500 for training my model. Once the model is trained and you will run this, once the model is trained, you would see under this data set, there is a subsection models appearing. Expand this and you need to pick the model which you just created, MDL predict price. This is a linear regression model that we created after you run this, run this model statement. So look at this model statement, look around and you will learn a lot of good things. Next step, let's evaluate the model. In order to evaluate the model, and this is how the model is created, you would see a statement like this, saying that model predict price has been created. Once the model has been created, let's evaluate the model. For evaluation, you would write select star from ml.evaluate, the keyword model and the name of the model. This is the example. Select star from ml.evaluate model, the name of the model. Let's do that. So I go back in here, evaluate model, and I'm gonna run this. And you would see that the mean square error, mean squared error, squared log error, absolute error, R2 score and explained variance have come. As I said, this is a very small sample data. That's why you are seeing some good numbers, very low mean absolute error and explained variance and R2 score almost as one. It may not happen in your real time. In the following set of videos, when we build other models like these, I'm gonna have more detailed information. Next is we wanna find out the model weights. When you talk about model weights in linear regression, you talk about the coefficients and the intercept. That means what is the coefficient? That means if you remember linear regression is a slope, so mx plus y, so mx plus c equals y is the equation. So m is the coefficient and c is the constant also known as intercept. Let us do this quickly and come back and I'll show you some interesting thing. So to get the model weights, the coefficients of the model, let's run this query. So let's start from ml.weights model and the name of the model. So for all of my videos, we are gonna follow the same framework to understand the models. So I did this and this is the area. So if I take this number and multiply this number with the area plus MX plus C plus I can take one five this piece, you would see that this is the predicted value. And it's pretty close just because it's a perfect linear regression example. Uh, please look at my video that I have explained linear regression. This is the equation. You see it's exact match, obviously because it's a perfect linear regression example. So weights define the slope and the constant of the linear regression model. Again, in real world, this is not the example. We are gonna look at other examples as well. So model weights defines intercept and the coefficient of the equation. So this is how you would run it. And this is area and intercept. 
Next, we want to predict the values of test data. If you remember during the training, we only used this set. Let's predict for this set. How are you going to do it? So to predict the model, you're going to say, remember ml.evaluate, ml.weights, you also have ml.predict. So select star from ml.predict model, model name, comma, and the equation or the query, which is going to be your test data. Let's look at it. So select star from ml.predict model, the name of the model name, select star from the table, area price table, where area is greater than 1500. That means all these records, which were not used for training, we set it aside for testing purposes. We split the data. So let's run this and see what is the output. So select and run and if you look at it the output is the predicted price area and the actual price the predicted and the actual and you see that obviously because it's a perfect linear regression example this is almost the same so all these queries are available on the video description link google drive link go ahead run it and then create your own data set and run the model. In the next video, we are gonna make it a little more detailed and complicated where we are gonna talk about the XGBoost regressor. Keep watching.